Alright, so, um, I think this is actually my first video of the new year. Because as much as I tried to upload Terry's Gone on the first, but I think I just managed to sneak in on the 31st, so, yeah. Anyway, <coughs> for some reason, um, Smoke On or Showdown or whatever have gone off and decided to make another tier, and it's FU. I don't know what FU stands for. I think it may be written down. Um, what does it stand for? Okay, no, it it's just got nothing. It's basically the PU of PU. So like the scraps <laughs> of PU. Um, there are a few things in there that makes dickle sense. Um, Huntail is in there, complete with Shell Smash and Sucker Punch, which I'm fairly certain was actually banned. Like, Smash Sucker Punch combo was banned, so I don't know why it's in FU. Um, Machoke seems to be something that a lot of, well, that a few people were like, uh, why is that here? That looks OP as shit. It's basically just a really slow, bulky chat up, which, yeah, I'd agree. <laughs> Sorry, just had dinner. I'm a little bit gassy. Um, Electabuzz, very f if I think it's actually the fastest thing in the tier, and there's bugger all ground types to resist it, so that one doesn't make a lot of sense either. And I've got my inspector just outspeed simmy paws of the simmies, just because I find it funny. Um, and then we've got uh, Butterfree, which is the thing that I personally think makes dickle sense. Like, I can't understand why there's a quiver dancer in this tier. Um, I am going with Tinted Lens over Compound Eyes, just because Bug Buzz is a single move. It has okay coverage, but you kind of want it to be able to hit everything, and so Tinted Lens, I don't think there's any quad resists in the tier. So it's basically just a constantly neutral attack, which is pretty good. Um, it'd be slightly better if it had Hurricane, but eh. Well, I know, if I was going to run Hurricane, then I'd probably want to run Compound Eyes, so I don't think it makes much of a difference. But yeah, I don't know why Butterfree is here, I think it's fucking daft. Um, yeah, Vavillion is better, but that's only because it's really faster. That's all Vavillion's got. Yeah, that's a big thing, but one Quiver Dance, and then that problem's sort of solved. So, yeah. But anyway, um, other than that, you've got Dewosion in there. I don't know why I'm running Recover. Ah, well, yeah, I'll get rid of Recover. Probably put Hidden Power Fighting on. Um, and we got Rest Talking Sluggo, which is alright. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. I quite like it. And that partners up quite well with Laron. Now, I was making this team when I was talking to, well, I was uh, in, talking on Skype with Socrates. And I saw that Bastiodon wasn't in the tier. I'm quite surprised Bastiodon isn't in the tier. I was a bit impressed at that. Um, but it's not, so I was like, I'm just going to use Laron then. So it's the exact same set, apart from um, no special defense investment, because there's no point. His, the, like, that is the main difference between Laron and Bastiodon. The special defense on Laron is apocalyptic. But other than that, max HP, max defense, lefties, protect, toxic, raw, stealth, rock. It is just the same thing with a horrible stat. Um, and it's good. It works. I can't complain. It has kicked the crap out of teams on its own. So, yeah. And they are fine. But, um, there are a few other threats in the tier. Um, I believe one thing that, um, one thing that people were looking at, well, a few things. There's a fracture, which I... I don't mind too much, it's a bit of a bastard, but usually Laron's gonna handle it, although I have seen people running like Aquatail and stuff and Brick Break, but not the end of the world, and Machoke should live one hit and then clobber its face off, Ryuna Blob or Duosion will live a hit, Trick Room, Psy Shock, that crap. Um, Electabuzz or should outspeed at 1dd. So I'm not too bothered. Go Go is another one, but I legit just have Sligo to cock block Go Go to an infinite degree. Um, Earthquake sucks, but that's its best move to hit me with. And if it has Horn Leech and Earthquake, then Butterfree just says no. Nah. And Butterfree outspeeds it. Um, Electabuzz outspeeds it. Not that big of a deal. The only thing that I have a vague problem with is Arbok. I would say Arbok is surprisingly. Uh, evil 
with my team. There's not much I can do about it unless I outspeed it, but at max speed jolly, it outspeeds Butterfree, which is my best bet of killing it because I can sleep powder and Bug Buzz goes through any potential subs. But if it outspeeds Butterfree, then um, up shit creek without a paddle. Um, is there anything else? Yeah, Huntail. Huntail's quite low down the um, threat list they've got there. It's actually quite surprising. Um, and for some unknown reason, despite the fact that it's in this tier, they still regard Aurorus as a B-plus threat. And I'm like, no, <laughs> Aurorus is a lot better than B-plus. Aurorus is quite good. Have you seen its power? It's actually impressive. I don't know why it's B+, plus, but according to them, it's just not something worth it about. Um, as is Whiskash, and I haven't actually seen Mr. Bean yet, but I'm sure it'll pop up. And I don't even know where Terry is. Terry is just down here. Te Terry isn't even on the list. Monferno is D rank, as is Meryl. Yeah, Terry isn't even on the list of things to think about. Bastards. <laughs> anyway, we're playing now, we're playing, we're playing, we are playing. That is a meow stick. Oh god, you are gonna be so annoying, aren't you? Um, I guess I just lead with my choke and hit it till it goes away. I, I, you know, if I was gonna make a guess, I would probably say my choke or Electabuzz would get banned first. I don't think Go Go's that big of a fucking deal. I mean, it's all right, but I don't really care that much. Um, but yeah, Electabuzz is pretty good for the tier. But if people grow a fucking brain, Butterfree is quite clearly the most overpowered thing here. Like, there's no argument. Sleep powder, sob, quiver dance, tinted lens, bug buzz that kills everything. That lampant may be the only quad resist. It's the only one I can currently think of. It's like no one, I haven't seen it once. And it's right fucking there. That's madness to me. Like, I could not understand that in the slightest. But apparently it's not worth getting yourself worked up about. I'm like, kind of is. Although to be fair, every single time I've thought of what would be banned, I'm usually wrong. Apart from I think Fletchinder was reasonably on the money. But that's about it. Why, why are you trying? Fuck off, Gogo. Fuck off, you don't win this fight. Um, I'm actually going to try and go into Butterfree. He probably does have Rock Slide to deal with that, but hopefully not. Hopefully he'll just pussy out and run off. I'd quite like to see someone tr at least try Life Orb Mix Go-Go. That would be interesting. Oh, shit. Uh, this could go poorly. There's not even much point trying it, is there? No. No, there's not much point even trying to get into that fight. I'm just going to leg it out of Sligo. Lampant could actually be pretty uh, devastating though. I don't have an awful lot to take it down. Um, I think Machoke is actually slower. Oh, it's Lollyformed. Okay, alright, that changes an awful lot then. Sligo will have it for lunch. I don't even know why Sligo's here. Sligo's actually pretty fucking good. Like, just a rest talk set. It kind of fucks the world. One thing I've seen a few people try is the um, cosmic power Clefairy thing, and I'm like, that's pretty ballsy. Like, I've got a decent amount of respect for that. Um, I don't think so, Machoke. Sligo should hopefully be able to shrug you off. I have max HP, max defensive, I like. So I should be able to nom it reasonably well until he goes for a knockoff, but yeah, you make do. I think my grandma is whistling at me. I'd assume she's gonna come up. Despite that I'm narrating, no one seems to get this. I am talking. I do not like being interrupted. But oh well. Although it is my sister's turn to drive her home today. Whatever. Things. Distractions. Like say, um... I think trading Sligo for the fact I just fucking outspeed you, mate. Although that's not the best use of Sligo, I'm gonna kinda take it. The only thing that's gonna stop is Lampen, really. Go Goat as well. But. It's not too bad, it's not the end of the world. Um, 
maybe artillery, depending. But I think I can muddle through. I I think I'm okay. And I do still have Scarfed Electabuzz to just keep bolt switching on his team. The only thing that's going to be a big problem is Meow Stick, depending on what kind of Meow Stick it is. Oh, look, it's Frank. What kind of Meow Stick are you? No, she's coming upstairs. Can hear her. <laughs> oh, really? Dual screen. <sighs> Come on, Frank. What are you doing? He doesn't really have anything to set up. The only thing that could set up is Ursaring. No, no, my brother, no. Anna's driving you home. No, she's not here. She has she gone out for a cigarette. She's gone out for a cigarette. She's just gone back in. Family. Family. Oh, oh well. Wow. Oh, this man is confused that I'm a rest talking Sligo. Well, okay, Sligo's back to good health again. All that work with Machoke. Wasted. This might present a problem. Oh, I think I'm gonna have to shuffle around with Laron a bit. I'm looking at Laron, and Laron doesn't seem like he's gonna be much use either. Although trying to toxic that meow stick would be great, but I can't remember if they get taunt or not. I'm fairly certain it does. Uh, I don't know, but whatever. We're gonna need to shuffle um shuffle around a bit. Maybe try and get rid of that light screen. That would be nice. I know Socrates was very confused as to why I was running lefties. Although, on the other hand, it doesn't really matter. I don't think you really need a Violite. I think it's perfectly grand without it. It does its job impressively well. <sighs> what am I going to sack? What am I going to sack? Do I need Machoke? Probably not. On the other hand, it is at really good health. I think the bigger question may be, do I need Laron? Um. Hmm. Duosion would eat a close combat. It wouldn't like it, but it would. I think I'd probably need Duosion less. On the other hand, Duosion can sweep. Whereas Machoke can't. So I think I'm going to go to Machoke. Because I think that's the lesser of two evils. And I think I'll live one hit and get a bullet punch off. And after a bit more damage... Oh, what? Wow, oh, well, it's a fucking good thing I didn't go into Duosion then, and no mistake. Um, yeah, I'll just go for a bullet punch. Fuck, I might still live a facade from here. Which would be cool. But yeah, Duosion can sweep, so I may as well try and hold on to that. Why? Um, alright, well, I'm going to try and kill it with a, uh, Volt Switch. I doubt it will kill, though, with the light screen up. But I'm going to try it. I may as well. And I can just Volt Switch out into Laron, and it's either going to die this turn from Burn or not, and if it close combat, then it's not the end of the world, it's just a pain in the arse. I think that's about the best way I can put it. But I just have to take it, there kind of isn't much you can do. Oh! Alright then. Well, um... Fine? I wonder where I am on the ladder. I am going to go inquire. I'm probably not going to get into this. There probably isn't much to get into. Fucking hell. Fact, people are already at 1375. Jesus Christ. It's barely been out. <laughs> I'm 47th on the ladder. I'm like two th uh, 200 down. So, yeah. It's not really happening. Still, though, I think it's quite cool that they brought out another tear. It's just getting a bit pointless. But I like the idea. You know completely low of the low, although that is what P was supposed to be, but it's cool to separate it out a bit. But, it doesn't really change much, and again, there are still a few 
big name threats in there, like the Simmies. I can't quite understand the Simmies being in it. Skittles. Thank you. I feel like some Skittles. My sister. Oh dear. Go on. What are we doing? I'm getting sidetracked all over the place now. It's not great. Alright. Oh, look, it's a butter. Finally. Fuck me, that Stealth Rock Week. Alright, Laron, you are going to be the tits. Um, Pikachu can handle Electro Buzz. Well, not handle. Handle is the wrong word, but it, it does have Lightning Rod and Light Ball. So I am going to want to watch out for that fucker. Um, yeah, if I can, like, just set up Stealth Rocks, I kind of not win, but I kill or nearly kill two of his guys. In fact, apart from. The only thing that worries me is he might leave with Butterfree. So I'm thinking I'm going to leave with Electabuzz. Because that way I can at least Ice Punch. Like, Electabuzz is a reasonable check to Butterfree. Because White will spare it as well. No, really? Okay, I'm just going to... If he's going to hand me a gift on a plate, I'm going to go in a layer on now. Pikachu could fuck this if he wants to try and be, be that guy. But I don't see why he'd bother trying to predict a Volt Switch when Shit Ninja doesn't get hit by Volt Switch. And Electabuzz has nothing else to hit it unless I run Hidden Power Fire because Electabuzz doesn't get Flamethrower for some reason. Don't know why, but it doesn't. Oh, do what you like, mate. I have Toxic as well. I can do anything I want. I am unfazed by your bullshit, my friend. But I will probably roar. Probably. Okay. Cool. Bye. Hope it was worth it with your no defogging team. I don't know. Poor shit, Ninja. Even in, like, the shite of the shite. It's still shite. Bye. Like, shite. Um. I don't think I need Laron anymore. The only thing that could throw a spanner in the works if his Butterfree has Defog. But why the fuck would you give a Butterfree Defog? There is no point. But, yeah, I think I can just win with Butterfree now. That's brick! That's quad super effective! And Laron just noms it. I really like Laron. Laron is a good trade-in for Bastiodon. As much as I would love Bastiodon more, because he is amazing. He's fucking fantastic. In fact, he should really be on that um, banner that I've got on my channel with all of my favourite Pokemon. In fact, he might well be. I think he is, actually, yeah. Bastiodon deserves to be there. You know, as much as I love him dearly... Laron is a good trade-off, if you like. Um, he probably does have rock. I would assume he'd have rock slide. On the other hand, I can go into Butterfree and at least scout around. And if he wants to try and sack his Shed Ninja to get a free switch, I get a sub. So I don't care. Maybe he's AV. That would make sense. But since he's toxic, he's kind of bone. So I don't know. Cool. Do what you like, mate. Do what you like. Like, I always hated Pavilion in NU because it is incredibly scummy, but I'm kind of, well, I like to say I'm using Butterfree to prove a point, but when I say that it makes me sound really aloof and kind of dickheaded. But it really shouldn't be here. Like, it is subpar Pavilion in the same way that Laron is subpar Bastiodon. And even subpar Pavilion is still going to be better than a lot of the Dross running around, so I can't understand it. Anyway, we can just kill you. Pikachu will stop it for a time, for a moment. But that's about it. Um, priority users can do stuff, but not much stuff. Yeah, bye. Like, that that's kind of the only thing that stops Butterfree, because it has such pitiful HP and defense. But on the other hand, Pavilion also had pitiful HP and defense. And special defense. 
But the only thing that I believe Butterfree is better in is special defense, which is completely point. Why the fuck would I want more special defense on something that is literally just made out of paper? And, you know, maybe some dust. But it has it, for whatever it's worth. Um, Electabuzz could also do really well here if I just lock myself into Ice Punch. I can clobber lots of things that way. Sligu will probably handle Pikachu. Sligu, I think, is really good. It's a really good check to a lot of the crap. Have I even got Sligu on their uh, thing of threats? Yeah, that hurts, but it's not the end of the world. Do they have um, Sligu? Fairy. Oh, Clefairy is an A minus, apparently. Oh, Swanna's in there. That's nice. Oh, well, it's Swanna. Sheddy is B minus. No, Sligu isn't even on the list. Good thinking. <laughs> Fine. Whatever works for you. Sligu is actually in the tick, right? Yeah, Sligu's there. Whatever, man. They're missing a fucking trick and no mistake. <laughs> Like, yeah, it can't do much offensively, but Dragon Pulse and Sludge Wave is pretty decent coverage. I personally cannot understand that to save my life, but there you go. I mean, they obviously have no brain. I mean, Terry isn't even on the fret list. I mean, they've got like an S rank of fret list. It's like, why isn't Terry on it? Where is Terry? Why is Terry an FU? This does make me wonder, though. If I even if I even manage to get that far, should I maybe go to FU for um, Terry's Gauntlet? That can be like a little bonus thing. Yeah, we'll do it like that. But I don't even know because like Terry's Gauntlet kind of ends when um, I get Terry, and if Terry's FU, that means I have to try and get there now. It's just like that's just made my job even harder because nothing in this tier is remotely decent from an actual, like, OU battle and competitive standpoint. Like, what am I supposed to do against Salamence? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing in this tier is that fast. There isn't even pile of slime with Ice Shard. Yeah, that's just gonna suck dick. That's what's gonna happen there. It's just gonna, it's not gonna work. It's gonna, it's gonna be terrible. Yeah, uh, well, we'll leave that up to people to see what they want because it's not going to go well. Oh well. We'll muddle through, I guess. That's another challenge if I ever actually manage to get that far. I still don't think I'll get that far. Um, I suppose there are some other things in that. I think Vullaby is a uh, FU. Like, that was something that I really expected to be NU, and it's not. It's nowhere near. Despite the fact that it's pretty much just a subpar Mandibuzz, and Mandibuzz is OU for unknown reasons. I never quite figured out why Mandibuzz was OU. The fuck is the guy doing? Yeah, let's have a look. So, like, Meganium is in FU, and that isn't even on any of the fret lists. Uh, Mighty Enna. Munchlax. I don't think I saw a Munchlax in there. Ninjask. Um, Rampados. Reggie Gigas. Relicanth. Sawsbug? Poor Sawsbug. Never get to looking. Scraggy. Shellgon. Slacking. Yep, so Terry is in there. Swoobat. Tropius. Tropius, I'll never get a look in. Tropius is awful. Poor Tropius. Uh, Dave is in it. Oh, man. It's a shame Marowak isn't there, otherwise I could have made a nifty little team there. You know, Dave, Marowak, Terry. Oh, is Lapras in it? Yeah, Lapras is fucking F you. Why? How does that even work? What is this fucker doing? Getting really fucking sick and tired of this. Like, I played some guy who legitimately ran out his fucking timer, and when it got to 10 seconds, he just turned it off. And I'm like, no you fucking don't, let's put that timer back on! If you start a fucking match, just play it for the love of all that's holy. Like, it's just rude. 
And if you've got to go have dinner something, then quit. Some bloke was like, oh, hey, man, do you mind waiting for ten minutes? It's like, yes. Of course I do. I'm not going to sit here and wait for ten minutes while you go fucking wank. Ugh. Hey, yeah, it pisses me off so much. Like, all it needs is a little bit of time management. Like, I don't start a game of FIFA and then think, Oh, I need to go do something now. It's just like, well, just don't start the game then. It's just a little bit of common courtesy. Yeah, you'll never have to actually deal with the people who you inconvenienced, but, you know, it's called being nice. Oh well, you model through. We win. I think we would have had it anyway. Like, I had enough things to handle this guy. So, eh, I think we were okay. Still a pain in the ass, but whatever. Right, let's see if we can actually get a fucking game! Let's get a fucking game! Well, that'd be nice. Whatever, man. Whatever. Come on. Let's go. Let's see if we can actually find a game. Whenever you're ready. So, yeah, I can't... I, I, I might actually put the link to the little page, because for some reason, um, Showdown haven't got the tier list on Showdown yet, so you have to go get it from um, like a web page. But there's quite a lot of stuff in there. Like... Again, I like Frogadier is in there. Dustclops. Oh, that's quite a cool team. Oh yeah, Sticky Web is rampant. You've got Levani and Ariados, and Levani and Ariados are generally unchecked. Still though, you have an Articuno, which means you've got Defog on that Articuno, which means that I c you can do what you want if you want a Doctor Shitbutt. Right. <laughs> Yeah, I can just set up self rocks, I don't care. Like, most Levanis carry knockoff, and that sucks, but I don't give a shit. I could do what they want me. I could just set up Toxics and Protect Stall. If he wants to go into Articuno to try and defog that shit away, by all means, mate. Doesn't bother me, and you have nothing to set up stealth rocks, and the only thing I care about getting slowed down is Butterfree, which flies over it. Because my team is vaguely Trick Room. Well, it can pull it off with Dwosion and Machoke. So I really don't care about Sticky Web, and one of the nice things about Electabuzz being just fast enough to outspeed the Simi Paws, like by about nine points. Um, the, it, I say it's really nice because if you choice scarf it, and then their Simi Paw is like nasty plot, just to capitalise on the Sticky Web, you still outspeed and you still kill with a, like a Thunderbolt, which is just hilarious. Like, you'd think that people would plan for that, but no. Oh well. Anyway, he's probably going to go Leaf Blade now, I don't know. Yeah, you go. 50% works for me, I'm not bothered. No, it's Megadium. Still not bothered, I'm just going to Sabotoxic, Toxic, mate. Do what you like, and then I can just go into Sligoo, who's got Sap Zipper and Sludge Wave. Oh shit, he actually no, he just went for it. Oh, he hasn't got an item. Interesting. Um, I'm going to go into Butterfree, I think, if that makes sense. Uh, there are a number of things in there that will laugh at Butterfree. Articuno is going to just die laughing, I'd say. But I can just go for a sub. He will outspeed me. However, he may well be spexed. But I was expecting Leech Seed, which is why I thought I could get away with um, fucking around a bit there. But, yeah, I can... Oh. Wait. This is a bit weird. So your Articuno hasn't got an item. Your Meganium doesn't have an item. Is it not a defogging Articuno? No. Now, I'm confused here. Because I can Quiver Dance up, and maybe I, I might not get enough boost to outlive the Articuno, because Hurricane's going to hit like a train. But if I get a couple of boosts, there's not much you can do. Our box Sucker Punch will suck, but as long as I've got a sub up, I really don't have to give a shit. 
And if he wants to sit there with his Articuno and, like, avoid Stealth Frog's damage, then he's got to sit there with his Articuno and be asleep. Although it did outspeed me, so maybe it's an offensive Articuno. Many things. It could well be Life Orb, in which case it has no special defense investment, in which case Bug Buzz is going to fuck its face off. And two Quiver Dances, I outspeed his entire team, kill the Fracture, kill McGinnium, kill Lee Vanny, um, Tinted Lens probably means I kill Arbok, and Gigas is a fat cunt. So, meh. I might actually just be able to kill this Fracture in one hit. Might. Not sure on that one, but I'll have a stab at it. Fracture isn't exactly bulky on the special side. So I'll have a go! Maybe this will prove why I think Butterfree should not be in this tier. Oh, it lived! Uh, now you see, there's a problem with that, because Butterfree is faster! That was just the wrong play to make, my brother. I'm assuming he's a Violet then. I'm assuming. I could be wrong. There's no excuse for this thing to be here. That is Lilligan here. Lilligan is actually more reasonable. No, Lilligan is not here! But Butterfree is! Like, nothing can handle it. Unless you have, like, dual sucker punches. Alright, he's going for the Arbok. He's gone for the Arbok. Can Arbok do it? Even if he goes Sucker Punch, I need to go Bug Buzz, because I've seen sub ones. So, sub Arbok is a problem for my team, so I would rather make sure I just go Bug Buzz to try and bludgeon it to death. And again, we still come to the nub of this, which is Iron Speed is Meganium. Fuck shit. No, he's gone Gunk Shot. I don't think I sub. He may. I wonder if he's specially defensive, because again, Tinted Lens. On the other hand, eh, I don't think it really matters, does it? Although he might miss a gunk shot, which would be fucking so cruel. But that is why you don't use gunk shot. On the other hand, I don't think Arbok gets anything. On the other, other hand, it has coil. Okay, he's just going to go gunk shot. I think he's just going to try and play it safe. So I'm just going to go bug buzz, take the kill. I do still outspeed the rest of his team. The only other problem is Reggie Gigas. However, I don't know if I care or not. I'm still working out if I care about the Giga, so we're going to get to that one. But still, so far, I'm just crushing his team. He has to go into Giga, he has nothing else. But I am going to try a cheeky sub against Giga. Because 99.99999% of them are like T-Wave, Confuse Ray, bullshit sets. So I'm going to see if I can catch him. Probably not. If he's clever, he will go for a return or a headbar. I'd assume it might be headbar, I don't know. But hopefully he's like a bulky one. Right. Okay. Um, try and turn home with Bug Buzz then. Probably ain't happening. But we'll see. And he isn't going to outspeed me for like four turns. Ah, it does a lot of damage. Oh, Iron Head, eh? Right. He's gonna go Iron Head again. I'd assume. I'm just gonna try and go for the kill. I think with the slow start, I still live one. I should do. And then it just kind of depends how, um... Yeah, he's gonna go for another... Yeah, buddy! This is fucking stupid. This is the dumbest thing ever. His only hope now is that Megan if his Meganium is scarfed, then grand. But even then, I just killed three of his team and slept a fourth. Lee Vanny isn't outspeeding. This is dumb. That's what this is. This is fucking dumb. He's going for the Articuno. He needs a miracle now. Is it gonna wake up? I don't know. He did outspeed me. I think my skill was a hit. Thank y'all. Oh, cool. The only thing I was slightly in danger of is him waking up or me running out of PP. I think I've proved my point today. 
That's a six Pokemon sweep for Butterfree. Unless Meganium lives it. Meganium does have a chance. It could be a Salt Vest. It could be a Salt Vest. I'm still not going to count him out just yet. If he tries Levan, he's a fucking idiot. He's tried Levan, you're a fucking idiot. It's not going to live it. You're not going to outspeed unless you're Scarfed, and you're quite clearly not Scarfed because I saw you go for an SD. Bye. If his Meganium fucking lives this, I'm going to laugh so much, especially if he's got Ancient Power as well. Oh, Meganium, I love you so much. You're such an awesome Pokemon. Can you live this? Can you redeem this man? If, I, if it lives it, it'll be even worse. It just will. I think I've, I've shown everything I need to show. Let's just have a moment of silence for referee. Let's have a moment of silence. <laughs> oh. Like, I hate sweeps. Sweeps are the most boring, uninteresting parts of crap, but... Butterfree. I think I... Yeah, like I say, I think what I've done is comfortably prove my point there. Like, my choke sucks, yeah, Electabuzz pain in the arse, and Electabuzz would have gone a long way in helping him stop Butterfree. But, like, you know, Fractures are quite strong, so is Go Go, but Butterfree fucks all of them if it's set up, if it sets up right. Um, the only thing that you'd have to really think about is whether you want to go Compound Eyes to be safer with your Sleep Powders, or Tinted Lens to be stronger with your Bug Buzzes. And I think Compound Eyes is, like I say, it's probably your better bet, but Tinted Lens gets the job done faster. And there are things that will stop it. Like, I'm assuming a Violet like Laron would give a good go of it, so... Tinted Lens for me is the better ability just because it has access to it. Right, what do we got? Oh, actually, I fucking played this guy out here. Yeah, I did. Um... What to lead with? Well, fuck, Electabuzz outspeeds his entire team. Apart from Rapid, does Rapidash outspeed it? Rapidash might be something I should look at, actually, because I'm running, like I say, I'm just running enough speed to outspeed base 101s, which are the simis. So Rapidash might actually outspeed my Electabuzz if it's scarfed jolly. We're off! Fuck, if we're about to bloody well find out, aren't we? Although that is a just admission that it's got drill run, which every rapid I should. Oh no, it has the same base speed as Electabuzz. Ah. Well, it has to be Jolly Scarf to outspeed me. Okay, so Rapidash is a good alternative. Ah, and it is Jolly Scarfed. Well, you know what? Now we know. You know what we do with that information? We go into Butterfree and we laugh. Well, actually, reasonably surprised Electabuzz lived that. Well played. Um, yeah, I can do what I like it. <laughs> I could just go for a sob. Then I can slate powder when it's convenient for me. Metang might stop it. Or Murkrow. Yeah, Murkrow makes sense. Um, I, he could have Taunt, to be fair, but I'm just going to go for a sleep powder. Oh, no, wait, no, he might have Insomnia. Oh, that cheeky bastard. He might have Insomnia. Um... I'll go for a Bug Buzz. That's fine. Because I know the last time I played him, he just used Brave Bird. My Machoke fucking lived it, which is actually quite surprising. Ooh, that's clever, isn't it? Um, I'm still not going to get completely done in here. I can still go for a Sleep Powder. Ah, oh, no, well played to the guy. Well played. I'll go for a Sleep Powder and then switch out next turn. I think. Because that's kind of one of the problems with Paris Song, which is that they can force you into a position where you have to switch. Okay, that's fine. Um, and looking at it, I can go into... I can go into Laron and set up my Stealth Rocks, actually. Yeah, that works. Like I say, if he wants to roost here, like I'm assuming he will... 
then I'm fine. He can try a Brave Bird, he can set up another Paris Song if he wants, but he dies. So he effectively is forced to- Oh! Oh, those plays, though! Jesus! Fortunately, his micro will not have defog, so setting up Stealth Rocks is a little bit of a dog shit bullet to the head for the guy, but hey, that's what we want, right? Um, Matang is complete 100% stop to lair on, as are all steals and poisons, but eh. Oh, the plays! The plays again! Fair enough, fair enough. It sucks, but uh, it happened now. I'm still going to keep going for it. I have no reason not to. Okay. Um, in theory, Electabuzz should live the Stealth Rock switch in. In theory. That's the hope, at least. But I don't mind Sticky Web too much, because Duosion can also sweep this man. If I really want to try it, he should do. The only sticking point would be Murkrow. Murkrow will live handily. Now, no. Right, so I'm assuming since he's got Magic Coat, he does not have SD. I would thought I would have thought Knock Off though. I would have thought could be wrong, but that uh, Magic Coat is quite good. That's another reason Levani is a uh, pretty decent. Ah, he's being clever there. But in the grand scheme of th actually, no, I can just protect. See what you're gonna do, King Lemiel, mate. So not bothered. Face bothered? No. Um, if he goes for a knockoff, I'm gonna stay in. If he goes Crab Hammer, then I'll leg it into Sligo. Sligo is also walled by Metang. In fact, Metang is a bit of a sticking point. However, uh, Duosion will have it. In theory. No, he's on Crab Hammer. That's okay. That's okay. Well, kinda, he might be Life Orb King, though. Because if his Rapid Ash is Scarf, that would make sense. But I just kind of want damage on the Metang. Hmm. In fact, Sligu isn't going to do much apart from just tank hits and be a big sluggy bastard. Okay. I I have confidence and say he's locked into that. Um, getting Butterfree in is now going to be a really big pisser for me. Don't really know how I'm going to handle that. Right, so he's going to Matang. That's cool. I'm going to rest. Because I'm going to be able to take any hit he wants to go for. I can't think of anything Matang is really going to do setup wise unless it's got Hone Claws, which would suck. Hmm. My choke should be able to club it to death. It's just if it's got Zen Headbutt. Fuck you, man. Fuck off. With your fucking boosting bullshit. Well, I need to go sack um, Electabuzz now, unfortunately. Um, I think I just have to try Machoke and pray to Jesus he hasn't just got Zen Headbutt. And hopefully I'll live it anyway, because Matang isn't that strong. Oh, I actually do just die. Oh, okay. Because Duosia should be able to live one, and then I can... Shadow Ball that, but his Matang has left me in a bit of a spot and he has used it quite well. So hopefully Machoke can do the business and stop me from being fucked into the ground. I am sort of tempted to go for a knockoff, but it's not going to do enough. So I'd rather go Dynamic Punch and take my chance with Confusion, I think. Unless then Headbutt kills me, which it could well do, it could well do. Because of that plus one, that plus one may have fucked me. But Duosion should live one. Because I remember last time it had to deal with two crits, and a crit does 61% to if I like Duosion. So I'm cool with that, but any damage is good damage. And even then, if I kill it, I can at least go on some kind of counter sweep and it maybe get somewhere. He's going for the mash. Oh, Machoke, you took that so nicely. Oh. That's awesome. Right, hit yourself. Pay me back for that attack raise, eh? Eh? Go on. Machoke is probably the next thing I'd say should be on the ban list, just because Dynamic Punch. It, it is kind of that good. Although, it'd be interesting to see if anyone actually... Oh, fuck you, man. 
Fuck off. Really? Because that's fair. Oh, yeah, I'm quite surprised people haven't used Golette. Or I could see Machoke when it gets, if it gets banned, Golette coming in. Because I think that gets no guard as well. So lame, man. Fuck off. It's not a fucking attack raise. Well, Sligoo's got to do it then. That's the that's the option I have. Because Duosian is now probably not going to take that very well, and I kind of need Duosian to sweep. <sighs> really, you get two mash raises. Two. And you don't hit yourself once. Yeah, that, that, that is fair. That is fair. Oh, he's got Ice Punch. Get Dragon Pulse. I think that's more just the game saying, no, nah, I've had enough of your bullshit, sir. You're, you're tearing shit up too much. Good luck, Butterfree! You now have to live a plus two bullet punch. Good luck. Like, this is the thing, I know Duosian will live it, but that's not the point. Like, Leon can't do it on its own. So, I'm fucked, basically. Ah, oh, I think he was nice. I think he was nice. I'll give him that. Doesn't change spit, but I'll give him that. Well, I could do. We'll see. If he pops up and says, oh, no, I misclicked, oh, I'll just be like, dude, I just said thank you. Let me tell you that. Ooh, he's been clever there. <sighs> and he outspeeds. Oh, well. Bye, bye, free! You only good one. Because what am I supposed to do? Yeah, because stealth rocks are up. Thanks to his, quite frankly, very good play. Um, actually, I suppose in theory, Leron could do it. However, there's Fracture, there's um, Murkrow with Perish Song, um, there's Rapid Ash with, uh, yeah, no. What would really help is if I could somehow Toxic Storm the Kingler. Actually, no, wait, no, it's a fucking retarded play, don't do that. Alright, it's happened now. <laughs> Good luck, Laron! Because <laughs> I have nothing else to do at this point. If I can Toxic Store the Kingler, if he misses enough Crab Hammers... Because if I get rid of the Murkrow, I'm... Confident. I did have Recover on my um, Duosion before, but like I say, I took it off. I don't think it would have. I think I just have to straight out sweep. Which is not going to happen. Oh, is that banded? Makes a good amount of sense. It would work. Because you don't get the sheer force boost with Crab Hammer, do you? For some reason. Alright, Emotion. You've now got to go on a five Pokemon counter sweep. Which probably still won't help. Because you've got Murkrow. Although it depends what kind, if it's if it goes for a roost instead of immediately for a Paris song, there's a hope there. Not much of one granted. Oh yes, Duosian. Yes. All right, skill for Shadow Ball. Come on, Duosian. Let's get this sweep on the road. I'm not running Thunder because oh, I should have run Thunder for the Murkrow. Oh, I'm an idiot. How could I not think of that? I really should have done it. And Flak Fundus just a nice extra move to have. Yeah. Let's go. Let's let's bring the bullshit back. Counter bullshit.
This is going to be... Oh, we'll see. If I can kill it right here with a hidden power fighting, there's a hope. Not much of one, but there's a hope. He's gone straight in. Come on, come on. No, oh my god. I should have run thunder. No, I'm so stupid. Oh man, if I ran thunder, that would have been just awesome. Well, now I know. I'm just gonna go do that right now. Hang on a minute before I forget, because I'm gonna stop after this. Go ahead, Ocean. You were born to use Thunder because for some reason you don't get Thunderbolt. One of the oddest move selection things that there is, but there you go. Oh, that's nice. He has a rematch. Nice blow. You know what? Something free. You're a cool dude. <laughs> no, do ocean. You tried so. Actually, you didn't really do a great job. Don't worry, you'll do better with thunder. I'm prepared for you next time, Mugro. <laughs> GDU something for E. GDTU. Get a crit! No. Oh. <laughs> ah, well. You see, that, that, that's good. That's nice. On something free. You're a, you're a trooper. Well done. Anyway, so there you go. Um, after a nice match to end it, a um, bit of an up and down thing, a couple of people left and then fucking Butterfree showed up and took care of business. Yeah, well at least we saw two nice things. One, I'm 100% right. It sounds cocky, but let's be honest, I don't, I can't imagine a lot of you can have a problem when I say Butterfree is fucking OP and probably shouldn't be an FU. I'm just, I can't imagine anyone's gonna pop up and say, nah. Like, I'll admit, I do defend Greninja, but that's because I think it can be stopped, whereas Butterfree is a little bit trickier. When you kind of have to rely on Sleep Powder missing, Although if you have enough fast things, then yeah, fine, you can win, that's great. But you can't constantly be prepared and be on edge for it 100% of the battle. And at some point, it's going to come in and take care of business. So, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. Although if someone has... Well, enough people have sort of told me that Greninja is just disgusting and should go away, that I'm kind of leaning towards it, meaning it should go away, but... I still never had that many problems with it. it. The only reason Greninja ever pissed me off was because whenever I played against it, it was always deceptively powerful. That is the only problem I ever had with it. Like, just because it gets stabbed doesn't mean it should be able to fuck the world. And yet it does. Like, that's my only problem with it. Other than that, I never thought it was, like, spectacularly good. But, Butterfree, yeah, she probably should be there. But yeah, so, you know, you got to see Butterfree just destroy some poor man and then yeah something free cool dude if you ever see this respect from a flabby man in his room you have my respect anyway um happy new year i guess i don't know it's a bit late for that now no one really cares anymore all the fucking adverts are like do you want to go on holiday book your summer holiday now it's fucking january fucking hate that. Like, they spend four months of fucking hype for Christmas, and then as soon as, like, just the millisecond it turns Christmas, what, well, Christmas? Never heard of Christmas? Nah, what are you talking about Christmas? Apart from those other weird adverts where it came to this, it's like, are you ready to plan for next Christmas? You can buy all of your gifts so fucking cheap. It's like, what bastard plans that far ahead? Oh well, anyway. 
advert rambling is rambling for another time. But, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Um, fuck part free and go go Laron and something free. Awesome. Anyway, see you in a bit. Peace.